Yes, indeed. Super T Sigma with the resistance. And what are we resisting? Resisting the urge to fight against yourself. I've been noticing a lot of opposition taking place both on and offline lately. And I just want to say be strong, people. Uh, use finesse, too. When standing your ground, it won't hurt. It won't hurt to kill them with kindness. Because some of the trolling is probably there just to take you out of your character a little bit. See if it can move your energy. See if you can be negatively polarized. No, just hold the high ground. Hold the high ground. And there just might be times where you have to get gangster. So by all means, hold the high ground. Hold the high ground. The rules are somewhat calibrated for each person because each of us are individuals with individual souls and we know what makes us tick more than anybody else does because we are us. Nobody can be you like you. Nobody can understand you like you either. So you just calibrate. This is where experience is necessary, um, even to the point of being above what we would call book knowledge. Because book knowledge is just going to deal with the skeletal applications of things. A lot of gener generalizations and a lot of universal maxims. These things help because they provide structure in terms of seeing what thinking processes look like. But you're going to have to customize it and integrate it within your own self. It's going to have to be shaded with the color that you are. Your independent energy. So let's say you want to arrive at the number four. One person may have to do two plus two. Another person can only do it by adding one to three. And another person maybe by adding three to one. It's going to be different. You're going to arrive at the same answer. You're going to arrive at the same elevation. Wherever your happiness is, that's going to be your heaven. Wherever the next person's happiness is, that's going to be their heaven. Both of you guys are going to be in heaven, in a heaven, in a paradise. But it's going to be custom. That's that's pretty much how the world works now. So don't fall for a lot of the mass hypnosis. And do guard against groupthink. Because you may be led down a, a wide gate that leads to destruction, so to speak. And maybe the way to true life is a narrow gate, something so narrow that it won't even get publication. It won't get noticed. It won't get the same type of mention or same type of airtime. A lot of us is just speaking into the atmosphere because our following hasn't come yet. And we may have traction out in the real world, but it takes time for seeds to grow. You'll never see a tree tomorrow if you planted it yesterday. These things take rain, sun has to endure the seasons, winter, fall, spring, summer. What you're planting has to go through all of the phases of what you endure. Doesn't have to be just limited to stages of life being broken down into 30, 25, and 30 year increments. But whatever your baseline measure is, for some people is one day at a time. For some people is a few hours at a time. For some people is a few minutes at a time. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the number challenge of the minute and dealing with the minutes. Trying to win every 60 seconds. Very hard and I'm far from being disciplined enough to even tackle it. But I needed to sharpen myself to at least be more productive within the hour. I'm definitely going to hit a star reaching for the moon, as they say. I'm going to make the goal and the aim so ridiculous that. I'm going to succeed even in my failures. I'm going to succeed forward. I'm going to succeed higher. And this is just my personal challenge. This is not a standard I put on anyone else. This is just what I'm choosing to do. What I feel like I have to do. My part that I have to play in this. If, you're, if the part that you play is similar, then you'll find this information in my energy uh, resonating with you. You'll definitely find that. So 
that's the reason why I do it too. And also, if anyone has an opposite perspective, then maybe my perspective may be a way of seeing things different and vice versa. I gain a lot of different perspectives uh, through content online. But the basis of my content is going to come primarily through my own experiences, though. That's the only difference. But I can glean and appreciate what other people's experiences are because no matter how much I know, I'm not going to know the truth because I need your truth in order to add to the totality of truth. I can't just have my truth and that be the truth because there's other people out there who are experiencing truths also. And even if they're the same, it's still going to be filtered through their own individual experience. And that's going to be still valuable, just as valuable as mine. This is probably a, a harmonic message. Because I'm working with a lot of harmonics and some of the other content that I produce, uh, per, particularly pertaining to the music. That's harmonics, even down to the sampling, all harmonics, rewriting things, reprogramming the code to mean whatever it is that makes me happy in hopes that there will be someone out there who resonates. And I see that there are, and I thank you all for your views, your comments, and your subscriptions to this. I'm definitely appreciative of that because it means other people either gravitate to this or this may be their own perspective and they finally came across a channel that helps them to believe and helps them to know that they're not crazy. They're different and unique, but they're not crazy. They're not the C word. They're not crazy. They're not the D word. They're not deranged. Everybody has issues. We're all mixed bags. We've all been subjected to traumas that have caused mental scars all of us are in the same boat with that. So it opens up the floodgates again to create. So for those under persecution, just keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. You don't have to be a martyr today. It's not necessary. You can govern yourself in the way you express yourself in a way that will attract a different kind of energy. Aggression will always be there to meet aggression. Calm will always be there to meet calm. It's all up to you how you choose to do it. I'm not saying one thing is right or wrong. It's just based on whatever makes you the happiest. Strive for that. Keep it in front of you. Go into a sort of trance that never fully dissipates with the ongoing daily task. And I'll get more into that part of things in a different video on the different layers of entrancement where a lot of us talk ourselves out of our manifestations because we can't hold a med uh, meditation for an hour long. But those 30 seconds each time on and off is perhaps even making more progress. But a lot of us maybe are not being told that. So I'm willing to take a chance on sharing those things with you. The layers of entrancement when it comes to visualization and manifestation. And I'm sure you've heard all of this before, but we're just saying it again, because just like people who get on flights, we have to go over the instructions on every flight It's the same instructions over and over. But if that plane should go down, uh, quote unquote, you'll have the procedures on hand and. At this point, if you've been on enough flights, spiritually speaking, you'll already have the mechanics and you can be able to respond to a given situation probably without even thinking about it because it's already programmed into you. I'm Super T Sigma. This is the resistance. Stay up, stay motivated and self-regulated. Peace.